My name is Mike Vaughn. I live outside Reedsville, Reedsville, North Carolina on 40 acres. I'm interested in conservation in general. Back about 2008 or 2009, Professor Ann Summers of UNCG uh, got me interested in box turtle conservation. Uh, so I joined a statewide study of the turtles. And what we're trying to do is find out how many of the turtles there are in the state, how many there are in particular locations, and get an idea of whether they need some special protection or whether they're fine just to be left alone. I'm, I'm holding in my hands a box turtle who is marked VWX uh, by notches that I've made in his shell edge. They'll be on him for the rest of his life. I think he's on the order of about 20 years old, but he may live to be at least 80 or 90 years old. Uh, if so, when he's found 80 or 90 years or whatever from now, those notches will still be there. Here, for example, I've now found uh, a total, I've got 43 coated turtles. And uh, the, uh, that's more than one per acre. So over a long period of time, we'll get a lot of data. This is, this is a turtle who lives on our farm. He has red eyes, which makes him a male. And um, they have a, a, a range usually of three to five acres. And uh, every time he's been captured here, he's been within that range. He's been photographed, he's been measured. And so we can keep an idea, uh, we can keep an idea of how he grows over the years. And, um, and then all this stuff goes in a database in Raleigh in a computer of the Wildlife Resources Commission. So at any time, if I say I found this turtle, uh, well, if somebody else comes here 50 years ago and finds the turtle, they'll uh, be able to look at the code and then they'll also be able to look at the photograph.